Hello, I'm Vitreus, and welcome to Pony Palace. Now, for seasons 1 and 2, I managed to combine them to make a top 20 list. And if you'd actually paid attention to that, you might have noticed it was an even split. So, 10 for season 1, and 10 for season 2. Now, that still left about 14 episodes per season that did not make the list. And that's okay. That's kind of the purpose of a top 10 list. However, for reasons unknown, or at least I just didn't look it up, so we're going with unknown, Hasbro cut the third season down to 13 episodes. And two of those are the two-part season opener. So, I count that as one. So, a top 10 list brings us down to two unchosen episodes, and that doesn't work. So, cutting my number nearly in half, this is the top six episodes from season three of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. Oh, and one more thing. Unlike last time, I wasn't going to try spoiling anything this time. But then I found this. Yeah, so I figured if Hasbro doesn't care about spoiling things, pff, why should I? Spoilers ahead! This is the top six episodes from season three. Now, I am probably not the best person to talk about bullying. <laughs> considering I kind of bullied Oddball into playing Catwoman. So, why not let My Little Pony talk about it? Apple Bloom's cousin, Babseed, is in from Manhattan, and although they, she starts to make friends with the Cutie Mark Crusaders, she quickly turns evil when she teams up with Royal Snobs, Diamond Tiara, and Silver Spoon. And after what must have been a week of being picked on and tortured, the Cutie Mark Crusaders finally decide to take action by rigging a float to embarrass her. What? That's always the most logical choice in these kind of situations. But of course, at the wrong moment, Applejack tells them that Babs is being bullied back at home. By the way, not a very good excuse. Causing them to decide to stop their plan, but that backfires on them. In the end, they learn this whole thing could have been avoided if they just went to Applejack to begin with. This is making probably the hardest placement to decide upon this list. And what pushes it over the edge is the song in this line. Oh, why does life have to be so ironic? Now get ready for me to misuse that line a lot. Okay, I am kind of surprised that the season finale made my list. The episode's like 90% songs, and that actually turned me off the first time I watched it. Then, after I rewatched the episode, I couldn't get the songs out of my head. So, quick rundown. Twilight screws everything up. Actually, that explains a few episodes' plots. Okay, to clarify, she wound up accidentally casting a spell that changed the destinies of her friends. So, Rainbow Dash is being terrorized by the animals, Fluttershy is making everyone in the town miserable as she can't cheer them up, Pinkie Pie is turning Applejack's farm into one of her family's rock farms, Applejack is... Doing something that resembles trying to make clothes, and Rarity is screwing around with the weather. And as a weather manipulator myself, I have to say, it's a hard job. If you aren't careful, you can turn your once lovely land into a swampland. Of course, if you're going for the evil lair look, nothing beats a mire. And after fixing this by pretty much telling everyone to do their original jobs, in song, and then the elements of harmony unite and blow up Twilight Sparkle. thought I was kidding, didn't you? And then she is brought back as a Princess Alicorn. And more songs that I can't get out of my head! But it's what my cutie mark is telling- Urgh! Out! 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 
Okay, for number four, Rainbow Dash gets into the Wonderbolt Academy, a school for the top flyers in Equestria, where they train members of the Wonderbolts. Rainbow Dash gets in and manages to make a good name for herself with the first test, the Dizitron. Or as I call it, Possible Derby Backstory Number One. And although she does the best, another Pegasus named Lightning Dust does slightly worse, but on a harder setting, making Lightning Dust the lead to Rainbow Dash's follower. Eventually, though, Lightning Dust needs to be the best, ends up injuring Rainbow Dash, sort of, throws every pony else into a tailspin on the obstacle course, and unleashes a tornado that nearly kills the remainder of the main six. After all this, Lightning Dust gets banished from the Academy, and never, we never see her again. Wait a minute, didn't we just do this with Trixie and Twilight? Okay, adding this to my list of My Little Pony predictions, Lightning Dust Returns Vowing Revenge. I'll put that right between Tim Curry guest starring as a villain and Celestia finding the underwater pony city full of sea ponies. why this episode's plot didn't cause a huge panic. I mean, look at this! <laughs> what the? Wow! If I wasn't kidding about the duplicates! Except now there's triple kicks and quadruple kicks! And there were three episodes between this and the Changeling Invasion! Why did no one panic? Alright, so pretty much after learning that everyone is doing something fun, Pinkie Pie says, well, she actually kind of just screams. That's it, Twilight! The Legend of the Miracle! Legend of the Who what now? And goes to find a mythical pool of water that can clone the person who looks into it. Uh, of course, my guess would be that Lyra already knew of this pool. And then her clones... well, it's clones of Pinkie Pie. There was no way this was going to end well for every pony else in town. After finally noticing the problem, Twilight finds the spell to return the clones to the water. But if she hits the real Pinkie Pie, then she too will be transported back. So she devises a plan to find the real one. With the challenge of... watching paint dry. And after those shenanigans... no really, shenanigans... The real pinky is discovered, and the mirror pool is sealed, so this can never happen again. Unless the changelings return. So, Scootaloo has a weird relationship with Rainbow Dash. Sometimes it seems like they are sisters the way they pair them up, but they aren't. And Scootaloo has this hero worship thing for Rainbow Dash. Then Sometimes she goes over the line between hero worship and crushing, and this episode shows that pretty well. As a plan to try to get Rainbow Dash to mentor her, Scootaloo decides to tag along with Applejack in Apple Bloom's hike, and Sweetie Belle tricks Rarity into going as well. Unfortunately for Scootaloo, Rainbow Dash is pretty good at telling scary stories, like the story of the Olden Pony and the Headless Horse. Which is the same story Twilight Sparkle told Applejack and Rarity during their slumber party. Which might be why Applejack and Rarity aren't phased at all by it. I've been told that these very woods are haunted by the headless horse. It gallops only at night. If it doesn't have a head, then how in tarnation does this pony know where it's going? It's headless, not brainless. Looking for little lost ponies. So where's its brain? Ugh. These stories plague Scootaloo with nightmares, causing Scootaloo to become extremely tired, and eventually her nightmares include Nightmare Moon. Well, Luna. Apparently she has the ability to enter dreams. She gives her advice to come clean to Rainbow Dash about her fears, but she winds up fleeing first and needing Rainbow Dash to rescue her. I like this episode, well, one for Luna's cameo, and also for the way the nightmares look. I've had some sleepless nights due to nightmares before. Of course, in Hyrule, you can't always escape your nightmares. What's number one? I am not going.
going to be surprised if everyone saw this coming. Magical Duel is just a love fest for anyone who loves continuity. First of all, Trixie Lulamoon returns to challenge Twilight Sparkle to see who is the better unicorn. And surprise! Trixie wins. She always wins. At least the first challenge, she always wins. And she banishes Twilight Sparkle from Ponyville and traps everyone else in, a la Stephen King's Dome. While Twilight trains with Zakora, the main five learn that Trixie has gotten so powerful due to the Alicorn Amulet. An amulet that increases power but corrupts the mind of the user, and decides to get this information to Twilight, and there's only one pony to do that! Trying to sneak past the force field will be impossible without help, but I know who's got the goods to get into those woods. It must be Fluttershy! What?! That line is what got it on this list. And upon finding Twilight in the creepy, ever-free forest... The ever-free forest is creepy again in this episode. It wasn't in other episodes, but you know what? Fine, I'll handle this later. Twilight devises a plan of her own and sends Sh Fluttershy back in. Wait, did Trixie not realize that one of her nemesis's friends just disappeared? Well, she is going crazy. I guess she could have missed the fact that Fluttershy disappeared. Twilight returns with a powerful amulet of her own, an obvious fake, and starts performing the same magic spells that Trixie is, only better. And if you're paying attention, you might be able to see through these tricks. Like how the friends that she turns younger are the ones with younger sisters. The friend that she makes older has a grandmother. Also how Applejack is the only one with a present brother, and she gets gender bent. Thus opening up a whole new world of fanfic and fan art. Not that I've been looking. Well, not on my computer. Also, everyone should have guessed that Pinkie Pie is just being Pinkie Pie. Minus mouth. She kinda lost it in the first duel. In the end, Trixie loses and switches amulets with Twilight, only to learn at that moment that it was a fake. And that she isn't gonna get her amulet back. After all this, Trixie apologizes and leaves gracefully. Uh, well, she leaves. I'm sure we'll see her again later. And that's my top six episodes of season three. Uh, the 13 episodes was just a bad move for Hasbro, as it went way too fast, and many characters got little to no time at all. For instance, Rarity didn't even get an episode's focus this time, and Zakora is only seen once, and the mayor I don't think is seen at all. But I do got good news for you: Season 4 has been confirmed. And even better news, it has been confirmed with 26 episodes. So I'll leave you on that good note. See every pony next time for more pony fun at Pony Palace.